Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and you might have heard about a lot of people that are angry about something in the magic world again. I know, shocking. And a lot of people are making this sound like a really big, you know, anti-player, anti-consumer thing that Wizards is doing. Once again, another thing they're forcing on us, and you're not completely wrong, but I think, um, eh, this is a bit of an improvement they're going the right direction with this, just saying. So they're just straight up getting rid of DCI numbers. They don't want to, like, outright say that in a sentence. They totally dance around it in this little news article that's on some little side website that nobody looks at. This is nowhere on Daily MTG because, you know, it's bad news. They know it'll piss people off and they want to hide it. Well, it's on Newsweek.com, so good luck with that. But the statement under magic.dg slash news is uh, adapting our technology to best serve a modern framework means some software and services must change. On May 27th, 2020, which is the big date to remember, we will be sunsetting Planeswalker Points and removing access to the Planeswalker Points website, which is currently uh, wizards.com slash magic slash Planeswalker Points. It's a website that basically nobody uses. I logged into it, I think, twice ever, and I thought maybe you needed a DCI and a password, but then I didn't know my password, and then I couldn't reset it because I also gave him a fake email or something, and it just turned into a whole thing. Plus, I have multiple DCI numbers under multiple different names, none of which are actually my name. And if that don't outline how much I trust wizards, I don't know what will. So what are the big consequences here? Well, uh, after May 27th, 2020, which is coming right up, you know, about a month, a um, little bit less than a month, you will not be able to go to that website, plug in your DCI number and see your Planeswalker level or your current point level. And that starts at like, you know, level one prodigy. And then like after level six, it's apprentice and you can level all the way up. I think last time I checked, I was fairly high level, like years and years and years ago. I think I was like level 19. So you got points for going to like F and M. I think you got points for winning a round. I think you maybe got one point for showing up and then another point for every round you won or something. I don't know. They changed it quite a bit from what I heard. I just never paid attention to it. The big thing was, yeah, you had Planeswalker points, but there were pro points. Pro points were what anybody cared about. And honestly, you'd get still more Planeswalker points, like eight times as many for going to like a thing at a Grand Prix. So unless you were a big, like, you know, pro scene, amateur or pro, I guess I should say competitive scene and even the side events like that, then you probably weren't going to be super high level or have anything to show off. You know, yeah, it was an indicator of how long you've played, but so was like, how low is your DCI number? So the fact that they're completely getting rid of DCI numbers in general, that I don't like. I really kind of wonder how this is going to work for D&D because I'm pretty sure my DCI number also worked for D&D events. But uh, they're rolling out like a wizard's account, which sounds like what I'll use then for D&D stuff, but I don't play D&D at an official store anymore. We just play at Eric's house, which is not the name of a local gaming store. It's just Eric's place. So people with like four and five digit DCI numbers, old school players, th now they get nothing. I mean, you could keep the card, just saying. But there's no way to prove or validate it. Uh, you know, even if you went to the website and would, I strongly recommend if anybody's interested in doing this, uh, log in, look at your whole history and your point level and all that, and just print it as a PDF or physically print it on paper. I mean, honestly, digitally throw that into like Dropbox it's in the cloud forever. Ta-da. You ain't going to lose that. But uh, yeah, you can capture your history now. It's just you're going to lose access to the website and the history completely after May 27th. So do go do that if you're interested. Even I might try and do that if I can find my DCI card. Strangely, it's not written down anywhere on my computer that I can see. That seems odd to me. I actually think I might know a couple uh, places where I might, might be. It might be in my uh, little encrypted archive. I don't know why I'd consider it the same level of importance as like my driver's license scans, my social, and my tax returns that are also in there. But <laughs> I just feel like it's probably in there somewhere. But assuming I could find it, assuming I could log in without a password, I, I'm just not familiar with how the system works at all, to be honest. Yeah, I might look at and print my history for once, you know, whatever. So if you're into that, you don't want to lose it, or you're curious, you've never checked out and want to know what level you are currently, you're probably not getting a whole lot higher with all the stores closed. Now's a good time to do it, you're running out of time, just saying. Um, so that said, and, and people are pissed about the whole, oh, I had a low original number. I had a huge history. And also I believe it tracked like even who you beat at like large tournaments and how many wins you got and that kind of stuff. Yeah. To lose that whole history, I can see why people are pissed, but for people who don't care about that or are going to back it up themselves, let's move on to what they're doing. So in the future, you're just going to be going to F and M, you know, sometime in June basically. And, uh. In order to play any structured play at all, like FNM, pre-release, whatever, you will have to give the store your wizard's account information, which is basically your email. It would be weird if you had to give them your password because they could just log in and screw it through your arena account. 
but there's no number associated with it, which makes me think, why the hell didn't they just roll in the DCI numbers? In fact, I thought they did. I'm pretty sure that like way before Arena or anything digital or any of that, when I originally logged in to check my Planeswalker level because I was curious, they said, do you want to associate an email address with your DCI number? And I'm pretty sure I gave them a fake email. Or maybe like a pseudo fake mailinator.com one or something. I don't know. And and now that's becoming a problem because now I, I thought there was also like maybe a password on it to make changes to like my first and last name and then I couldn't. I don't know. Like they always had like a pseudo account thing that I remember. I'm trying to remember this from like three, four years ago, but uh, I guess they didn't feel like merging that or preserving it or like upgrading it or whatever. So that's weird. But either way, your wizard's account right now, just to make it perfectly clear, is the email address and the password that you use to log into Arena. So if you were to go to my accounts with an S for some reason, dot wizards.com, and attempt to log in with your arena credentials, which hopefully you remember. It will then, once you log in, show your display name. It'll let you change your email, which I would strongly recommend if you're using just an invalid one as just like a login thing. You change it because, well, also under settings, this is the same thing. Check the box that says, yes, wizards may send me promotional emails and offers about wizards, event, games, and services. Because they're like, here, have a free code for like boosters. Like it's it's legit stuff. Stuff you actually want to know about. New stuff going on in arena, patch notes, announcements. It's like actually important stuff and cool free stuff. So one, make sure it's a real email that you actually check. And two, opt into that. Just saying. And then also I noticed that um, when I logged in, it said, here's your display name on arena. That's, you know, that, and then the number sign and then the, the numbers, you know, how you add each other as friends. So I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, that's me. Email's correct. Cool. That is one that I actually check. It's like my fourth email. Cause I'm not going to give my main one, but it is an email I have access to. I mean, when I opened Thunderbird, it checked six email accounts. So it is what it is. Uh, but they didn't have a first and last name for me. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to go to F&M and just have it, oh, you're playing against uh, this person's stupid display name from Arena. So I would strongly recommend trying to log in just to make sure it works, opting in and making sure it's a good email, and then adding your first and last name for pairing purposes. Now that said, obviously I did not use my real name. I didn't even use my real name on my other DCI account. And trust me, you do not want on like May 27th or June, whatever the hell, to show up to F&M if your store's even back open and... Have them say, oh, we, we don't have a first and last name for this. Oh, I can add one in this software, this beta test software that's half done. And I'm definitely not going to spell your name wrong. Like, just go fill it in yourself. And I'm just going to take a wild guess that all of you guys are probably going to use a fake name just for lols anyway. And because who the hell would want such an aggressively discriminatory, you know, ridiculous company to know their personal information? So I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of John Smiths. We're going to see a lot of Rusty Shackelford. Shout out to all my uh, 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 King of the Hill fans out there. I think we're going to see a lot of Seymour Butts out there. Uh, all the classics. Maybe some J apostrophe W-E-R-E-Z. Last name M-U-M-A-N-A. -A. Where's my mana? Maybe first name Land. Last name Draw. Just, uh, you know, get creative with it. I honestly don't think it'll come up until they got to cut you a check for some, you know, big performance at a magic tournament. So if that ain't you, uh, <laughs> put whatever the hell you want there. I'm sure that's some kind of terms of use violation. I'm sure it says somewhere to use your real name, but do you trust wizards with your real name? So, you know, you do you, just saying. I love the FAQ section in this article. <laughs> what does this mean for my DCI number? Soon you will not use it. Like, that's about it. I mean, I'm summarizing, but that's, that's pretty much what they said. Will I need a wizard's account? Yes. Can I link my DCI number and my Planeswalker points to my wizard's account? No. Will my Planeswalker points history be saved? No. Can I download my play history? No. In fact, the full answer is no, comma, there is no download functionality for your play history. Yes, there is. It's called printing the website as a PDF. It's a virtual printer built into all copies of Windows 10. So what they meant to say was, yes, make your own backup. I mean, yeah, they don't have like a report generator that dumps into the CSV, but like, whatever, it's a web page, print it, you know? Also, oh, so in the new system, can I look up my play history with my Wizards account? No. We will continue to review and update information available for your Wizards account as our software and services change in the future. So the answer is maybe, but if we do, there will be a giant gap of nothingness where nothing was recorded. Because, you know, right now, it don't do that. So I wish they would have put, what's the benefit of having a Wizards account? There is none. You get no rewards, no tracking, no points, no, you know, long time. Oh, this is your fifth year playing. Nothing. You get absolutely nothing unless they change it in the near future. 
You can't track any results of anything. You can't see how you did at a, a pre-release, which I think you can do with your DCI number right now. Uh, you basically just have to have an account because you have to have an account. So there's that mixed with the fact that they're deleting like 20 plus years of magic play history with little warning. I can see why people are pissed, but this is such a who cares system for like 99% of people that they're just like, oh cool, I get to use my login for Arena now. And now the, the big thing going forward is, well now it's all together. Like you, if, if you play Arena, they'll know it. And if you go to FNM, they'll know it. If you go to a pre-release, they'll know it. If you go to a Grand Prix, they'll know it. So instead of, oh, here's a code, I hope we didn't run out, I hope it works, and I hope you don't, you know, sell it on eBay. Instead, it'll be like, oh yeah, you logged in at this event and proved you were there. Here, automatically next time you launch Arena, boom, here you go, free thing, or they send an email with like a code or whatever. Very streamlined, very easy to do. So if they want to start giving you free stuff for going to physical events in paper, which is what they said was a huge, huge, huge goal for Arena, and they have done it in the past, so they're not lying, you know, just saying... Well, this makes it an awful lot easier. So it makes it easier for them to give you free stuff for what you're probably already doing. I mean, you're just wiping out two decades of history. So once again, to be clear, I'm, I'm not, you know, telling people that they shouldn't be mad about this. If they are, I get it, but we're also moving forward. Would I have preferred them to merge them together, use a DCI number in accordance with it, just add it as another data field? At FNM, log in with either end of the system and then keep your history even if they don't want to track it anymore. Absolutely, they should have done that. But I don't really care what my history or record or points are. I don't use their stupid little social media brag feature on that website. I haven't even logged into the damn website in like four or five years. I'm not even sure I can anymore. and I don't remember what my DCI number is. So it's like, whatever to me, get rid of it. So like I said, if you're going to be all butthurt over this, go log in right now, wizards.com slash magic slash planeswalker points and print your entire history as a PDF. You know, export it, convert it, whatever. That's about the best you can do now. Now, people who didn't hear about this and get blindsided by it may, they will have a right to be pretty pissed. So spread the word, and uh, honestly, I do think this is overall a positive thing. Just saying. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.